What's up guys, today I'm going to teach you how to record and stream at the same time using OBS multi-platform. You will notice I have two instances of OBS open down here. One of these is just to record the screen so I can show you guys in a better way of how to do this. Again, you only need one instance of OBS multi-platform to do this. Uh, I hate tutorials where they say open up two multi OBS multi-platforms or two OBS uh, instances to do you know two things whenever you only need one OBS multi-platform to do it. Anyways, this is all, you know, just the same, your stream setup, game capture, your chat, donations, alerts, you know, background image, whatever the fuck you want. This is all the same, nothing to really change here. The real changes are inside your file and settings. You make sure you go in here. Now, on the video tab, for the base resolution, set this to, you know, whatever resolution your monitor is set at. My monitor is 1920 by 1080. If your monitor is 1600 by 900, 1360 by 768, or anything like that, you're going to want to change this to that. Make sure this base resolution is set to that. And the output resolution too. Uh, FPS set to 60. If you want, you can change it to 30. If your computer is not that good and it has to run at a lower frame rate to stream, but my computer is good, I can run 60 FPS streams all the time. Uh, nothing's really changed in here. Stream's still the same. You know, you set up all your stuff and uh, everything's still the same. The real change is in the output tab. Now this should be set to simple. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to change it to advanced. And once you're in the advanced tab, you're gonna want to check mark rescale output. Change this to 720p, uh, that's like the base of what most streams are on Twitch. Uh, all this could be this at what you want, you know, the bit rate, keyframe interval, CPU usage. This can all be whatever you want, your preference. This is technically just another channel for the stream. And then we're gonna go into the recording tab. Now, uh, I just use standard, you know, on the type. And you know, you set, you set your uh, recording path. Mine is OBS, it's on a different hard drive. That way I don't have any interruptions while I'm playing games. Uh, I don't have, you know, less hard drive performance, I guess. <laughs> it's gonna be a while to come up with that word. Anyways, this should all be set to this, you know, put this at MP4. FLV is kind of, you know, I didn't really like it. It didn't look too good. It, uh, I, I felt like it was too dark. MP4 is, too, is good to me. Uh, for the encoder, you could use your CPU, just know that this will use up a higher CPU usage. I use my graphics card, the NVIDIA NVENC H264 encoder. If you don't have an NVIDIA graphics card, there might be an option for AMD. I don't think there is, so you might have to just stay with CPU encoding. Now, um, that that could be bad considering, you know, it'll use up a lot of your CPU. I have a good CPU, so I could probably use X264 for this, but uh, I don't because it's better performance wise to just use the NVIDIA coder. Rescale output, do not check mark this because it will record your base resolution, which is why I said earlier in the video, which mine is 1920 by 1080. So it will record nice, you know, solid 1080p 60 FPS without any, uh, any other options. Keyframe interval is two. I don't know why that's set to that. I don't think it really matters. I think that was automatically set to that. And the bit rate. Now I had this at 40,000 bit rate and it was good. Uh, I bumped it up to 80,000 because it's just better that way. Uh, it doubles the the bit rate, of course, from forty thousand, and it looks more uh, more solid, more crisp, more better. Anyways, so this is how you do it. You just do all this, do all those things I've told you. Uh, it should be good after this, actually. So you can just press OK. I'm gonna click cancel just in case if I made any you know mistakes to it. And then once you're done doing that, just press start streaming and then start recording every time that you start streaming. Or you can uh, you can just set up a hotkey to press both of them at the same time. It doesn't really matter. That's all you really have to do. If you guys actually want to see some recorded footage, just to make sure, you know, just to see how good it looks recording using OBS and streaming at the same time, I have some videos that will pop up on screen right now. These are all videos that I used OBS multi-platform to record with and stream at the same time. Uh, and there's also this video. I'm actually recording with this video using OBS multi-platform. So there's just for you guys that need to see what the quality looks like before you actually do this yourself. OBS multi-platform is a good program for this stuff. I really hate the uh, design compared to OBS regular. Uh, but, you know, recording and streaming at the same time is kind of a tough thing to break. XSplit has it too, but you can only, you can only record 720p 60fps or whatever output you're streaming at. So if you guys like this video, make sure to click that like button. Uh, if you guys need any more, if you, if, you, if you guys have any more questions, I'll, I'll be glad to answer them in the comment section down below. See you guys next time. Peace out.